Hello everyone, my name is Trick, and today I'm going to show you how can you make a buttons in Effect House or the, they call this it is an UI, introduction. Like interactive buttons. Go to 202 Once for tutorial. Image, the buttons will interact with the user. So that's why they call it like button UI or something like that. So um, I'm going to teach you how to make a buttons that show on the screen and when, when you click recording the button disappeared and we, when you stop recording the button shows up again and how to make the buttons more interactive by moving the texture of the button so here's some examples i have made for this for like um, new york camp for effect house so this was my project here's the cowboy style this is a button so once I click on the cowboy, you're gonna see the cowboy became bigger and be became more smaller and enable a canvas from here, which is called the cow. So this is the cow, it works for the for the cat, sorry, let me just show up the cat. So as you can see here, this is the cow. So actually, this button, when I click on this button, it will enable this canvas, which is the cow. So let me click on the cow and you're gonna see it will interact with the user. So as you can see it become bigger then it will become smaller as like you're interacting with this button and here we have the reset button it will do the same thing become bigger then become smaller for the gentle become bigger and then become smaller like as you click on this button it will interact with you as a user and here's the party one the same thing and the crown the same thing so you can see it's all done with visual scripting I know it's a bit complicated here but don't worry like when you understand all of these like you don't need to care about anything okay Bring tutorial my started over now here as the buttons for this tutorial so let's get started first you need to add an object and go to 2d and choose image so you can apply your button as an image in there so let's go to the texture and let me choose the first button which is the cowboy so i'm gonna keep the cowboy over here as like one button from here okay we're gonna use it as one button so we're gonna go to the visual scripting and search for um image tab which is means when we touch an image things will happen okay so um after you do that let's just rename this call it like one as button number one and you go to the image from here and click get image so we can link this image to the image tab so it explains when i tap on this image which is number one do something okay we're gonna link that to the image tab when i click on the image tab i need uh things to be activated for example let's do the hit tracker for the cat first like as an ar or something okay change it to the cat and add an object 3d and go to plane okay i'm gonna apply the plane to the head to the cat so as you can see the plane on the head of the cat so i'm gonna turn this off the head tracker and i'm gonna call it one underscore one which is the action for the button one the first action so i'm gonna click on that and bring the whole um canvas or the head tracker from here get one underscore one and keep it over here okay then i'm gonna add the node which is it uh, visibility um, i'm gonna link that to the image tab so here you're gonna link the target which is the canvas or the head tracker you have made so whatever inside this uh, head tracker will be enabled once you click on this button so i'm gonna link that to the target of set visibility so and when I click on that, nothing gonna happen. You can see here the actions happening, but how can we enable that? So you can say set visibility on. I'm gonna tell the effect when I click on this image, which is the button, uh, set the visibility of the head tracker on. So it's, you now can see it, it's uncheck. So once I click on that, it's gonna enable it. That's the button. We know how to make a button, like how to make it as two actions, two buttons that's easy to make so I'm gonna do the same thing over here I'm gonna duplicate the the head tracker I'm gonna call it two two 
and I'm gonna duplicate the image and rename it to two and change the texture to be gen as gentle and I'll move it over here so what's the action is gonna happen here so I'm gonna teach you how uh, can you like when you click on this button it disable the second one and when you click on the gentle it disable the first one and enable the gentle one it's kind of sounds complicated but I'm gonna explain it to you right now so this is the image number one I'm gonna import or so, sorry get the image two over here with the same actions I'm gonna duplicate this over here I don't need this oh sorry okay so now we have the image tab I'm gonna link the image to over here oops this looks like I didn't say, uh, get the image from here you need, you need to make, make sure it says image so you can link it to the image tab I'm gonna put these next to each others the one and two because you need to set as two actions over here um, let me just add a sphere for number two because we don't need a plane because we have a plane in number one so I need to explain it correctly to you so now on one we have a plane which is um, explains that when we click on the cowboy style will enable the plane and number two has the sphere which is explains when we click on gentle it will enable gentle and will disable the first one directly so how can we do that so we have image one which is this one I'm gonna duplicate that here I'm gonna make it the same so here we say when we click on image one set enable uh, set visibility for the head tracker number one and when we click on image number two set visibility for tracker number uh, sorry tra head tracker number two so as you can see here one and two so now when I click on the first one it's gonna be enabled but now I have a second option I want to make another button so I'm gonna click on the gentle you can see like it, it didn't disable the first one because we need to make this action to be happen here so I'm gonna duplicate number two again I know it sounds complicated but it's very easy once you understand it so we have number one here here when I tell him when I click on image one I'm gonna remove this one and make it for the head tracker number two I'm gonna link that here and make the set visibility uncheck so that explains to the to the software here we told him when I click on image number one which is the cowboy style um, set visibility for the plane but again if I click on image number one whatever on the second button which is the head tracker set it off like um, when it shows the plane it's gonna uh, turn off the sphere and we do the same thing here we click on image 2 set visibility for image 2 will enable anything on number 2 which is the head tracker number 2 with the one with the sphere and here I'm gonna delete this one I'm gonna uncheck the set visibility to be off and then I'm gonna bring number 1 so that explains to the software when I click on image number 1 enable head tracker number 1 which is the right one but again when I click on image number one at the same time I want you to dis disable anything like number two three just keep number one enable and we did the same thing for here for number two when I click on Im image number two enable only number two the same value as I give you for the software and when I click again at the same at the same click when I click on image number two disable anything but just keep number two enabled so let me click here cowboy style this is the first one you remember before if we click on the gentle it's gonna um, enable the sphere with the plane but now it's not gonna happen because we told the software just keep it with the numbers as we selected here in the visual script gentle that's it so it disabled the first one and we can do the same thing and it's gonna work all the time so this is how we make the buttons in effect house so like 
it's very easy, very simple. Just need to understand how it's how it works. You don't need even to spend a lot of time. You don't need uh, this tutorial. I can just share photos, uh, but I want you to understand how this, um, how this like effect Part works two. as buttons for here. Animation UI buttons. So now we finish with the buttons. How can we make this buttons looks like as UI buttons? It's not actually the same, but we make it as as you know interactive effect. I'm gonna do image tab again here. I'm gonna bring image number one from here. Don't forget, get image and link the image to image tab. Trans and we're gonna bring the node transit by time. Image one, image tab, and link the image tab to the start and the transit. And change uh, transit by time and change it to vector two. And here we have the image. What we need to do is like, how can we make it interact as I show you in the first, in the beginning of the video. So we can do that by go to scale 2D, which is the vector two. We're gonna play with the X's and the Y's of the uh, texture. So I'm gonna set scale. I'm gonna get, make it set scale, bring it to the, to the visual scripting because I want to tell the software to set the scale from one to a number I, I need to um, like resize this um, texture. I'm gonna link it to the pose from here. This is texture, and here's the value. So now it's it's from number one. It's on the size uh, one x and y. This is the original size of this button. I'm gonna tell the transit by time to make it be like from from one from point one to, oh to one point two oh. Okay. To this 1.2 or 1.20. Now I told him when I click on the on the image, uh, set the the scale to two. Okay. Sorry, 1.20. So how can we make this works? It's not gonna do anything. Let me just do the duration to one. So when I click on that, it's gonna make it to two. 1.2. Sorry. So as you can see here, so how can we make this button go back? So now we tell the software from one to one, two. Now we make it to be back. How can we do that? Okay, we can easily do that and make it more realistic by adding a node wait for seconds. A link the wait for seconds from, from the left to the sit scale over here. And now I'm going to bring another transit by time over here and link it to the start of the transit by time. And then I need to bring the scale to the again. Set scale, I'll link it over here. So at the beginning in the transit by time, we told him to move it from one to 120. And now when you click on that, it's gonna move it from one to 120. But now we need it to be from 120 to, to one because we already make the size. So we need to make it more uh, at the same original. So now, it's on the original size one, and we told him, we told the software we wanted to move it from one to one two, and here I'm gonna make the seconds two seconds, so that explains. Or okay, let me make it just one second, so that explains. When I click on the image, here this is image number one image tab. Please set the scale from one to one point two, and then after one second, after I click on this image, please. Put the, the scale to be to the original size, which is means from 120 to one to to the to one to the original size. So let me click here, um, link the value, and let's try again. One, and in one second it's going to be come back to the original size. Oh, sorry, I need to link the scale to the pose here. So one. In one second, yeah. So we don't need it to make like to be in one second, as the one I show you on my effect will be more realistic to be in two seconds. So it it's have its time to show as UI button. So one in two seconds will go back. So this is how I made this kind of buttons. You can do the same thing for uh, number two. You just need to like duplicate that and change the image. To image two, bring it from here. Image two, 
and then link it over here but be careful to change the scale because the scale is still on image number one this is the image number one I'm gonna do the same thing scale from here set scale and then uh, link it to the pose to the second one here and then the value you can duplicate that because it's the same image and here's the value so and don't forget to link the wait for seconds to the set scale one so it's gonna give the same actions for one click so let's try this is the first one with the interactive button and the second one work the same and with no without any problems so as you can see here for two buttons we have this is the button number one here this is for button number one and this is for button number two this is how easy you can make buttons in effect house so sorry about that so i forgot to mention the most important part which is how can we hide the buttons when the user take a video or something so it's not distracting the user when he record so we can easily do that i'm going to add a node video record and i want you to duplicate this video record three times over here because we're going to use it three times for one button each button it's going to have three nodes of video recording and then um, we see the image over here on the canvas you don't need now to bring it from get image so now from the from the top over here get one and duplicate that for three as well so we have three three one two three it's three <laughs> okay and now we need to add set visibility node and three times duplicated control command d or control d in windows now let's connect that to the, the target for the three uh, target target and then from video record number one link the first one to the set visibility and link the second one to the set visibility number two and link the third one to the first one of the set visibility and keep uh, the first two unchecked and the last one checked so that says on on uh, on a stop set visibility on and when like when um, the video recording uh, set the, vis the visibility of the buttons off so means when I record uh, don't show the buttons in, in the recording and on start the same thing but don't worry when you start the, the effect you can see the buttons on, on there I'm gonna show you a video on the screen right now in start the button is on when recording the button is off when stop recording the button is on again so you can see the button number one disappeared but the button number two is still in there because I need to do the same method to the number two it's very easy very simple just duplicate all these and change the target to number two thank you if you have any questions please let me know in the comments and you can find me discord.gg of effect discord house we can chat you can ask me questions you can send me a direct message if you want so thank you everyone for watching and i hope you like this tutorial